do another example of using Euclid's algorithm backwards. Let's try, well, you see, when, we, when I first introduced this, I kept choosing numbers that were really, really obvious, right? Like nine and five. The highest common factor of nine and five is definitely one, but if I asked you to find an expression something times nine plus something times five equals one, it's pretty easy, right? Because you can take two fives and you can take away one nine and that will give you one. So the point of this algorithm is to help you in times when you can't just stare at it. And this is where maths is supposed to come and help you. It might seem complicated, but it's to help you out when your staring powers have reached their limit. So let's try another one. Let's try 81 and 22. So first of all, let's think about the highest common factor for a second. This is 9 times 9, right? So that's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And this is 2 times 11. So the highest common factor is definitely 1. Now, let's try and stare at it for a bit and see if we could come up easily with a way of making a, a sum of 81s and 22s to be 1. Well, I mean, we can get a little bit close. We could get, we can get 88 out of this, but that's 7 away. So imagine now having to take another 81. That's going to be 162. Now we try and make some more 22s. It's really, you know, you could be there forever. So now let's try running our algorithm. So we run a Euclid's algorithm forwards. So we first do 81, and we do division with remainder by 22. Well, we can get three 22s in there, right? Because we can get um, get ourselves up to 66. So that's three 22s. And then how many are left over after we've got this 66? Well, 76, that's 15. 15 left over. So now we do 22. We take this 22 over here, remember? And we do division with remainder on 15. Well, that's only one 15 that we can fit into 22. And we'll have 7 left over. And now we take the 15 over here and we say 15 is 2 7s with 1 left over. And now we're clear because 7 is just 7 times 1. And we're done. And so Euclid's algorithm has shown us that 1 really is the highest common factor. So the highest common factor of 81 and 22 really is 1. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to run it backwards, feed the numbers back in again to get an expression of 1 in terms of 81s and 22s. Right, so this line, the last line, we've got 1 in terms of 15s and 7s. This line is going to give us 7 in terms of 22s and 15s. And this line will give us 15 in terms of 81s and 22s. So if we sort of make that all trickle down, then we'll get 1 in terms of 81s and 22s. So let's just try it. Let's start with this line. This line gives us that 15 equals 81 minus 3 times 22. Okay? So now let's try this line. This line gives us that 7 is 22 minus 1 15. Right, so now let's put in our expression for 15 back in there. So that's 22 minus 81 minus 3 times 22. So let's gather all our 22s together. Here we've got three of them. And here we've got one of them, so we add those together and we get four of them. So that's four 22s minus 181. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's do this line. We put our one, well, one, this tells us that that's 15 minus 2 times 7. So now we feed in our expression for 15 and hope that we don't run out of space. So we've got our expression for 15, which is 81 minus 3 times 22. So that's our expression for 15. And then we do minus 2 multiplied by our expression for 7. And here's our expression for 7 in terms of 80, 81 and 22s. That's 4 
22s minus 181, okay? So now let's gather together all our 81s. We've got one here and we've got two there. So that's three 81s. And now let's gather together all our 22s. We've got minus three of them over here and minus eight of them over here. So that's minus 11 times 22. So we finally got ourselves an expression of one in terms of 81s and 22s. Shall we check it's right? 381s, well, 3 to 24, so this is going to be 243. And 1122s, well, to multiply something by 11, you, to a two-digit number by 11, you put the, the two digits on the outside and then put the sum of the two digits in the middle. So that's going to be, you put a 2 and a 2 on the outside and then you put the sum of them in the middle. Well, that's 4, so that's 242. So, another way of saying that is we take 10 22s, which is 220, and then we take 1 22 and add them together so we get 242. So that is indeed right because 243 minus 242 is 1. So we've got ourselves an expression of 1 in terms of 81s and 22s, which is exactly what we wanted. I have, I think, two more things to say about this. One is that that wasn't a proof that this is possible. I've just shown you how to do it, and I hope you're convinced. The other thing I want to say is that getting one in terms of these numbers depended on the highest common factor being one, right? But if the highest common factor was h, then we would, in Euclid's algorithm here, we would have got h as our highest common factor, in which case we could have run it backwards and got h in terms of those two numbers. So whatever it is that the highest common factor is, we can get, always get rx plus sy to be equal to h, whatever that highest common factor was. And this can be also very useful, even for other things, when you're not necessarily trying to do one. And so next time, we'll do an example of that.